So this is the second Senate proposal that is going in for approval at the UBC Senate. The first Senate proposal that we put in was the framework, which outlined in broad strokes what the four-year renewed curriculum looks like. And this is now the second submission to Senate. And what this gives us is more detailed um, framework, which looks at how the course structures are set up, what the course syllabi looks like, what the calendar entries are going to be. This is a culmination of years of work and hundreds of people and across faculty, staff and students. And right now we have the Curriculum Renewal Project Development Committee, which is made up of assessment leaders, um, site representatives, departmental representatives, discipline representatives and course directors. And they've really put all the work into actually assembling all these pieces into a package that's ready to go to Senate. We realize that we're at the precipice of having to make some fundamental changes. There are changing healthcare needs, there's a changing healthcare system, there are changes in things like technology and the way that students access information and learn. And so part of this is to create bigger building blocks and the courses are going to be longer and that gives us an ability to be more flexible, to be more integrated and to be able to do more continuous quality improvement. So the next steps are that we have the full faculty vote, which will open up on June 3rd. What we want to see is that people really are able to look at and read the Senate document because I think it is a really great overview of all the work that has happened over a number of years. And it provides a one, one place to be able to go and see where all of that thinking has come together. The second thing that we would ask people to do is to vote to approve it so that we're able to take it on to the UBC Senate. We're able to implement the renewed curriculum in 2015 and we're able to admit students into our renewed program. So if you think about it, the first cohort that comes in in 2015 will be graduating in 2019 and that's when the last course will be delivered for that entire first cohort. The implementation that will go on during that time will be continuous. And so what we're asking really is for that more detailed development to not only start for the class that's incoming in 2015, but continues on for every incoming class after that. And the last course that we actually deliver in the renewed curriculum for the first time will occur in 2019. And so that we also understand that the continuous quality improvement that will go on over those four years will help us inform changes that will be, will be able to be made as we're delivering this renewed curriculum. The only thing that I would add is our heartfelt thanks for all of the people who've put in so many hours and, and so many years into this process. And I think this is a culmination of hundreds of people who are really putting thousands of hours into this. And it's been really great to see this all come together in the Senate documentation. And I think it really is a strong proposal. And, and having worked with the Senate Secretariat, I think they feel the same way.